Okay. Okay, could we start? Yeah. So, I am Boris, I am working at Mirantis, and today we will speak about uh, benchmarking open OpenStack at scale. So, uh, actually we should determine, determine what is benchmarking OpenStack at scale. So, what is it, why we need, and how we are going to benchmark. And we will introduce new uh, project that is community-based. It's called Rally, and so we will speak about what is Rally, and uh, internal things of Rally, and uh, examples and results that we already have now. So, actually, it's very interesting in bench benchmarking to answer on two questions. So, how to ensure that OpenStack works at scale, and how to quickly detect the problems and performance issues and then fix it and then uh, prove that these fixes work before production. So, <laughs> and uh, so there is actually a simple way. We could just generate some uh, load from concurrent users, then uh, capture K metrics, and so average time of booting VMs, deleting VMs, failure rates, and so on, and verify that cloud work fine, works fine, and we will be happy, and so on. But uh, actually, what if something went wrong and it doesn't work as expected? So probably it's uh, incorrect deployment setup, or probably you don't use optimal hardware, or bug in the code, or um, so, or you didn't read enough uh, close uh, manuals. So, uh, and did you read manuals closely? <laughs> no, really. <laughs> so when I saw this picture, I think that uh, after an hour, uh, you should um, <laughs> uh, you should. Uh, get some vision of how to slow uh, solve this problem and there should be exactly some simple easy way to solve these all problems and so actually the free common approach is uh, to use better hardware or deploy better or make the code better uh, but actually uh, how we will know what hardware we should improve or uh, what part of uh, OpenStack is too slow, or uh, what to improve in deployment. So, as you saw, it's a complicated thing. So, uh, some small companies like IBM, Yahoo, and so on, uh, try to bring the light in the darkness and to answer on these uh, questions and build Rally, that is a community-based project. So. It's uh, well integrated with other OpenStack projects. And we also have a wiki page on uh, OpenStack.org where, uh, where we have all details about benchmarks, architecture, and roadmap, and so on. So uh, actually, we should cover two different uh, types of uh, users. It's just developers and uh, cloud operators. So for uh, developers, we should uh, run synthetic tests and stress tests that could give us uh, fast results of uh, for five, 10 minutes. Uh, does your fix works or not? And for operators, it's interesting more real life uh, cloud usage and how it will work for week, for example, on uh, expected load. So, uh, and also uh, reporting and uh, presenting this data should be different for developers and for operators. So developers should know about uh, uh, bottlenecks, uh, so, and, uh, oh, 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 sorry, <laughs> mistake, so, okay. Uh, so, and uh, this is high level architecture of Rally. So there is first part, it's uh, uh, deploying OpenStack Cloud. So developers actually don't know how to deploy OpenStack 
I mean, I don't know. So uh, I wrote this in Rally, and you could use in Rally different uh, tools to deploy OpenStack. It's DevStack, Fuel, there is just plain uh, uh, deploy engine that just returns existing uh, endpoints of cloud. And uh, this deployment should be somewhere deployed. So there is another thing, it's server providers, and for server providers that provide servers, on that you are going to deploy. And it could be Amazon in future, <laughs> and OpenStack, Virsh, or LXC containers. So, and then we should run specified uh, scenarios and set uh, common parameters like amount of user, amount of tenants, uh, concurrency, type of, ro of uh, workload, and duration. So, and uh, the results should be processed, and uh, so we should get execution time, failure rates, graphics, profiling data, and so on. And uh, so let's see in detail what uh, is organization of uh, benchmarking scenarios. So there will be two separated uh, engines. One is for uh, developers, and uh, another is for uh, cloud operators so and uh, so in for developers we, we are interested in synthetic workloads that are run against OpenStack cloud and uh, data for developers is low level profiling tomograph results graphs and so on and for uh, operators it's interesting real life workloads um, uh, and uh, data is uh, SLA, bottlenecks, in components, so without any details. Uh, and uh, so let's discuss synthetic tests for developers. So let, we could try to uh, provide large amount of VMs, uh, a lot of VMs per second, uh, a lot of requests, a lot of uh, simultaneously uploading images, uh, and combine these scenarios. And uh, so this will show us bottlenecks and uh, uncover some problems that we have in OpenStack. And also, if we have such tool that you are able to repeat every scenario on specified parameters, everybody will be able to specify uh, uh, some amount of configuration and uh, another uh, developers would be able to run this without any problem and get the same results. So, it, so we could build golden standard for everyone. Uh, as uh, the project is uh, new and we didn't have support of uh, deployment built in, so we use uh, fuel and NG. The number of physical servers is uh, really large. It's more than 500. So, and uh, let's see the examples that we get. So, we build uh, 200 servers OpenStack Cloud and try to run 100, uh, uh, for 1,400 VMs uh, with different uh, concurrency. So, we see that uh, the amount of uh, VMs uh, doesn't influence on uh, running next one, but uh, we see that uh, different uh, amount of concurrent users uh, influence, so it works uh, almost two times slower with two times more, with two times more users. So another test is, for example, let's try to boot and uh, delete VM from, with different concurrent users. And we are seeing that for 100, users, uh, it works five times slower than with one user. So it seems like that uh, this should be fixed. Um, and we get some interesting profiling uh, data from Tomograph and Zipkin. So for example, we try to launch just three VMs and uh, it produced three, more than 300 dB requests and more than uh, 17 RPC calls. And for example, delete uh, free VMs under high load, it's 
uh, there is about, from one user, it's about one minute global develop on quotas tables. And this uh, means that uh, these operations was done not simultaneously, but, but one by one. And this thing uh, actually is a big performance issue in OpenStack. So, and th this is another part, it's real workloads. Why we need actually real workloads when we have a synthetic test? So, uh, first of all, real workloads are more uh, complex, uh, complex and then just boot and destroy VM. And uh, workloads are rarely changed. And uh, actually, uh, workload depends on your business, not on OpenStack and other things. So, and uh, as a result, uh, we would like to get uh, different data. So, not how long work scenario, but how long work booting of a single VM in this workload. So, and uh, what we are going to uh, uh, measure is how long uh, was provi provisioning of them, how uh, long was destroying them, how, how, how much time it takes. And uh, so, and use VM here could be a very uh, big amount of time, for example, one hour or one day. And in more detail, we are interested in what component exactly uh, works uh, uh, this uh, process of pro pro probably, of, for example, provision VM or delete, destroying VM. So, and then we would like to get uh, such uh, charts that shows uh, how long works uh, this uh, operation in uh, specific uh, components. This will allow us to find the component that should be improved in, uh, for first and then others, yes? And, okay, uh, so, and also it's uh, really interesting to have a historical data about uh, so we made some changes in hardware, some changes in uh, deployment architecture, some changes in code or other, and we should know uh, how it influences on uh, uh, performance and scale options of uh, cloud. <clears throat> and I would like to say uh, and present our roadmap it's, uh, we should greatly improve profiling capabilities to cover this case with uh, how long it works in specific component and uh, extend workload definitions so we will be able to build real workloads. And the second thing is to run different uh, stress tests together to get uh, 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 to get such information like uh, how influence, uh, for example, big uh, load on Cinder on speed of boot up of VM. And it's really interesting. And uh, so support historical data. And uh, so better uh, correlation between business and this uh, reporting. So. And actually, um, I would like to get some help from community because project is uh, really big and interesting and it's useful for everybody that is interested in OpenStack. So uh, you can join, uh, you could join our Rally community. So uh, to join, there is wiki page, there is project space and ERC chat and you can ping everybody. For example, my nick is uh, Boris. Uh, 42, and uh, so are there some questions I would like to answer? Yeah, yeah too fast. Okay. Okay, uh, we are uh, capturing 
Okay, the question is how we capture that uh, VM was booted. And the answer is simple. We are checking a uh, pooling status of VM until it becomes uh, active. Uh, actually, we, uh, we are using only Python clients at this moment for testing. So the only way to test, and really could be not in the same network as OpenStack Cloud. So, and uh, assigning public IPs, I mean floating IPs, is another operation. So we are able only to check that the status become active. Yes. So you actually add additional load to the database. Yes, but actually in real life you have only this way to test. For example, if you are using Horizon, it will be also it will also pull this whole data. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. Yeah. Actually, it's in our future roadmap. So we have an uh, engine that, is, that makes stress testing and measure one uh, from beginning to end uh, this scenario. And uh, the second uh, engine for real workloads will be organized another. So there will be actions and we will measure and collect data for every actions and then process this data. But actually this is not so useful for uh, stress testing. So there should be separated engines to support these two cases. And I am working now on it. Uh, yes. Uh, I have some plans around uh, making something like paste bin, but instead of returning just uh, raw data, it will draw gr all graphics and other things. Yes? Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, Inside the VMs, uh, in future roadmap, it will be great. But now we should concentrate on uh, OpenStack infrastructure uh, and testing how OpenStack works by self. Why not using telemetry for these purposes? I mean, VM side uh, monitoring. Uh, yeah, uh, it, 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 the question was another: Why we don't use it now? And it, it is not yet done. Uh, Cilumet, no. no. So. so I got a question. Okay. Uh, so right now we're actually measuring like time for booting VMs or I don't know performance of uh, some certain parts of OpenStack. But do you see any ways how we can test, for example, uh, network uh, performance? Like is really it's like if you got a scale field deployment. Are there any ways to test other things like probably disk IOs or network IOs or just network connectivity in a little large scale? What do you think of that? Uh, actually, if we had some monitoring and probably special images for VMs that will work after booting, probably we could try to also co connect all this stuff with, uh, and combine. So it's monitoring plus times and plus profiling data. At this moment, we don't use any profiling, so it's impossible. Okay. So is it somewhere on the roadmap, or let's just stack together, group together? Yes, package? yes. You could build your own roadmap. I probably will approve it. Yes, it's. 
Actually, it's interesting, but if we try to implement all uh, at one, I mean, to implement all in one time, it won't work. I mean, we should step by step uh, extend functionality to keep this, uh, uh, to keep really pretty si simple for end users. If you put a lot of functions, uh, it will be uh, too hard to use it. I mean, without mm, any uh, processing of the, this data and combining it. Uh, yeah. So, step by step. Details about OpenStack what? Do you have any preliminary data to the results? Or I, I show already this was. Besides that? Huh? Besides that? Uh, I have some other, but I'm not able to share it at this moment. Yeah. Yes, I think that uh, it could be integrated with uh, OpenStack Garrett. So there is special mechanism that uh, read all uh, reviews messages, and if there is special syntax, for example, run benchmark and specification of benchmark, and then it could be integrated to run this benchmark against some cloud and return results. Oh, sorry. So, uh, I can actually uh, try to visit more different places on the internet to other stuff out. And can you set an example of uh, uh, how to use data to actually calculate the actual impact? What data? Sorry. Pro profiling data or? I have two questions. Uh, the first one is uh, have to actually implement rallies on, on a certain level of impact? Yes. That results for us from production OpenStack Cloud. Okay, then can you uh, show us how these data uh, actually count to optimize the cloud? Could you repeat? Uh, I didn't hear. Uh, Sorry. Uh, okay. Uh, first of all, uh, you could use profiling data to see what uh, component or what part of OpenStack start work slow, and then you could just read the code and understand why it works slow. Then you are trying to fix it, fixing, and then running one more time uh, benchmarks. And if uh, these uh, times are not lower, you're running one more time profiling and seeing that your uh, fix helps. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, we have already uh, patches for OpenStack, and we are going to merge it to upstream soon, and it seems like it's pretty small patches that add tomograph uh, inside OpenStack, and then uh, all uh, logs and uh, RPC calls and DB calls are sent to some backend, and in our case, we used Zipkin as backend that stores all these logs, RPC calls, and uh, B calls, and then aggregate this data and uh, present in that form, like a site. Okay, yes? Okay. Uh,
it's a little bit open question. So we are now analyzing what is the better approach to measure time in uh, each service. So, I mean, there is this discussion. Or, so. And, Or what was the question? I didn't understand. Yes. Yes. I, I, yes. This is the open question. So we are, we could try to analyze logs, or we will build some another message in tomograph and analyze these messages. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's not connected with Rayleigh, it's more connected with your project. So, okay, nice. So, thank you. Ah.